Students, this is problem number 2.10 from page number 45 of structure of atom. Okay, in statement they are saying what are the frequency and wavelength of a photon emitted during a transition from n equal to 5 state to the n equal to 2 state in the hydrogen atom. They are asking you to find the frequency and wavelength of a photon when uh, in case of hydrogen atom it is emitted from n equal to 5 means from orbit 5 to orbit 2 this photon is showing transition okay so we know that in that case we will use Rydberg's equation so Rydberg equation is 1 by lambda equal to r 1 by n 1 ka square minus 1 by n 2 ka square right so uh, n 1 is orbit uh, who is having the least value so n 1 equal to 2 and n 2 equal to 5 right and Redberg constant is r equal to 109677.6 centimeter inverse okay first of all we will find the wavelength right so 1 by lambda we will put the values over here 1 by lambda equal to 109677.6 centimeter inverse 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 5 square right now let's take the lcm first of all i'll simplify the values so 6 centimeter inverse 1 by 4 minus 1 by 25 2 into 2 4 5 into 5 25 right now let's take the lcm so we know that 4 into 25 that means 100 okay so 109677.6 centimeter inverse 100 now 100 divided by 4 25 25 into 1 25 minus uh, 100 divided by 25 4 4 into 1 4 right so 25 minus 4 that means 21 so 1 by lambda 109677.6 centimeter inverse into 21 by 100 okay now when uh, i'll multiply 109677.6 with 21 and uh, divide it with the 100 i'll get the value 1 by lambda equal to 23032.3 centimeter inverse now i have to find the value of lambda so lambda equal to 1 by 23032.3 0.3 centimeter inverse now we are having a centimeter meter inverse in denominator so when i'll take this uh, centimeter inverse in numerator it will uh, convert it into centimeter right so lambda equal to uh, 1 by 230 32.3 will be 434 into 10 raised to power minus 7 centimeter I have done multiplication in a rough so lambda equal to if I will multiply 434 into 10 raised to power minus 2 uh, means if I will divide 434 with the 100 I will get this value in meters right so I will multiply both the values so 434 into here we are having multiplication in between these two powers so it will be 10 raised to power minus 2 plus or you can say minus 7 we are having the same sign so it will be 434 into 10 raised to power minus 9 meter right now we are having wavelength uh, next target is to uh, is to find the frequency so we know that nu equal to c by lambda now c is velocity of light so 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second right so now put the values 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second divided by lambda is 434 into 10 raised to power minus 9 meter so i'll cancel meter with meter now let's simplify this value so 3 into 10 raised to power 8 second inverse we are having only okay uh, can i write it as uh, 4.34 into 100 or you can say 10 raised to power 2 uh, means if i'll multiply 4.34 with 100 i'll get 434 right so into 10 raised to power minus 9 so 
uh, here again we are having multiplication in between powers so minus 9 plus 2 that means minus 7 right so 3 into 10 raised to power 8 divided by 4.34 into 10 raised to power minus 7 right second inverse now take this power in numerator so here it is 10 raised to power minus 7 when i'll take it in the numerator it will be uh, 10 raised to power plus 7 right so 3 divided by 4.34 that will be 0 0.691 into 10 raised to power 8 plus 7 10 raised to power 15 second inverse right now uh, can i borrow 110 from this 10 raised to power 15 and give it to this value so what will happen when i'll multiply 0 0.691 with 10 it will be 6.91 into i have taken 110 from this value so it will be 10 raised to power 15 minus 1 that means 10 raised to power 14 second inverse okay and uh, now you can also convert this second inverse into hertz so one second inverse equal to one hertz so this value will be 6.91 into 10 raised to power 14 hertz